Today's the big day. We're gonna make a little road trip and see if we can get the coachman from Duncansville, Pennsylvania, back back this way to its new uh, temporary home. I'm um, gonna grab a couple of things. Uh, we're gonna go in the van, go pick up my oldest son. Uh, he'll drive the van back and I'll drive the coachman. And I'm just gonna grab a couple of things for just in case. You know, jumper cables, a tow strap in case we break down, need to get it pulled off the road or something. Um, I don't think we'll have any problems. This will be her maiden voyage, uh, I guess, uh, under my ownership. All she got to do is get 80 some miles, Duncansville, back over this way. <laughs> so I'm going to grab a couple of things, get a uh, dump some coffee in a tra uh, travel mug. Uh, let Bella do her morning business here. We're gonna be on the road here in just a minute. And before I forget again, uh, four people in the last couple of weeks have stopped by and uh, used our uh, our PayPal link. Uh, it's usually for stickers when I have stickers. Uh, by the way, I'm out of stickers, so uh, don't order <laughs> don't order any stickers. But four people will stop by and just said, here. Um, you know, we enjoy the channel and uh, we enjoy, you know, riding along or, you know, virtually riding along and, uh, you know, just enjoy the channel and your travels and stuff. And I uh, said, here, here's a, uh, buy some gasoline. <laughs> yeah, put some gas in the tank, you know. Uh, so, uh, I, I don't know. Thank you. That's just, what else could I say? Hey, that's appreciated. I, I mean, absolutely. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to get on with things. Oh, I should say uh, thanks, too, to our Patreons that uh, have joined us on our Patreon page, too. You know, you get real, more, you know, real-time updates. Uh, obviously, you know, we made the trip. You know, I got to get back here, process the files, and upload it and all that stuff. So by the time you're watching this, this has already all happened, <laughs> you know, on Saturday. So uh, you, the Patreons already kind of know how... How this turned out <laughs> uh, but it's you know it's all good um, yeah so thanks to all our patrons that join us on that page um, anything else we should probably just get going I think that's it <laughs> let's go are you ready are, are you ready to go of course she's ready <laughs> um, that's it uh, yeah Betty uh, Betty's all locked up and uh, that's all right, Betty. We're going to get your replacement. It won't be long now. We we won't need you anymore. Oh, that's kind of brutal, <laughs> Betty. You know you'll be all right, Betty. <laughs> Ouch! That's kind of sad, isn't it? All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. And we're gonna take a quick peek at something. Uh, do I get everything? Um. Yeah, I'm gonna put a couple things, uh, secure a couple things, and we'll then we'll get out of here. I really don't anticipate having any problems, but um, where's my? Make sure that tow strap is still in here somewhere. We're going, Bella. I think it's under my seat. There's the jumper cables. Where is it? Where is it? Never mind. I have two of those tow straps. I keep one in the binder and I keep one in the van. You never know that when you need them, they come in. Uh, they are freaking nice to have. You know, I towed, uh, I towed uh, somebody out of the sand one time with my old motor home with the old Tioga. They come in handy. Um, I know it's in the van somewhere. It might be in the back. But uh, <laughs> I don't anticipate needing it. If I do, if we really do, I don't really don't have it. We'll just run to the nearest auto parts store, Walmart, and just get one. I, we'll be all right. We don't need a toe strap. <laughs> all right, on our way, we're gonna go over and uh, pick up my oldest son, and uh, we're gonna take a, just a really quick peek inside the garage. Some of you already know what's inside there. Uh, any new subscribers uh, or viewers? since last summer I oh, have no idea what's in there so we'll just peek in there really really quick and I'll show you all right see if gas is... I've been to the gas station in a week I wonder how them prices are holding up <laughs> hey, boy 
We're gonna get a number here, see what kind of mileage the van's been getting. Hey, it's dropped from 429 all the way down to 417. Hopefully that's a coming trend. All right, I'm gonna get some gas here and we'll get going here. Okay, I already know this is not gonna be a very good number because the, the type of driving we've been doing is a lot of um, out in the hills and you know rural, uh, a lot of stop and go traffic, uh, running errands and a couple, since I got gas, there's a couple cold mornings where I'd start the van up, let it warm up for a while. So this will not be a very good number. Uh, the trip meter says 182 miles, all right, divided by 16.8. Uh, 16.8 gallons, 10.8 miles to a gallon. So that's kind of like worst case, you know, that type of driving. Uh, but now with a full tank, we'll, we'll do the highway trip now, I'll get in the coachman and back, and then uh, we'll have uh, that, that type of number, like if you was on a trip, you know, it's starting to get better mileage than this 10.8. Uh, we'll round it up, we'll just take, you know, worst case, 11 miles to a gallon in the van. All right, let's go. Uh, yes, we're taking you. You get to go along, huh? And she knows when we pull in this, we pull into this neighborhood. Uh, she gets antsy. She knows where we're going. <laughs> okay, we are here. Are you ready, son? Yeah. All right, here. Nobody's ever seen any of my family before. This is my son, my oldest son, Daniel. I need a lot of coffee to deal with this man. He needs it, this man. <laughs> morning, son. Good morning. You, you, you can, it's okay. You can say, morning, dad. Good morning, dad. Okay. All right, let's let Bella out for a minute. Okay. Go on. Go do one more pee. Okay. Go on. And, uh, all right, we're going to take a quick peek in here. i got to show you something. All right, there it is. All right, there it is, my my 1971 Ford Maverick. It's all original, has the original engine in it. Let me turn the light on here for a second. All right, that's better. Um, Daniel, you know it's not a it's not a shelf. <laughs> uh, there it is. Uh, so yeah, I need to, I need to come over and get this out. We'll, one of these days we'll come over and uh. Take this out and exercise it. It's run. It runs. We saved it uh, from somebody's old backyard. It sat for a lot of years. Got it. Got it back and uh, got it. Got it back. Put all new brakes and tires and tune up and all that kind of happy stuff. Made it roadworthy again. All right, let's get out of here. You need to get in before if she gets in first. You'll have to chase her out of that seat. Right. So you go ahead and get in, and then I'll let her in. All right, I know you're not used to it, but uh, there's room in the back for you. Come on, get inside. Go on, get in. She'll get in my seat. Get down. What are you driving? <laughs> Almost here already. Almost here at Port Bella. Okay. She has road up here between the seats the whole time because uh, Daniel over here is sitting in her seat, but she's been okay. I've tried, tried to tell her a couple times that you know she could go back and lay in the bed. She she would be up higher. She'd still be able to see out front up here. But no, no, no. she would rather be able to sit up here and be with us, even if she. That uh, doesn't have a good view out the window. <laughs> so. so we're almost there. Coming to get you, Miss Coachman. It's got a bit windy out here. Uh, I'll see what I can record without too much wind noise. Just, just a minute. I think we're about ready. All right, there she is. Bella's already inside and waiting on me. I uh, already put the license plate on it, and I have uh, 
all my proof of insurance and registrations inside. Uh, yeah, license plates over there. Uh, I guess we'll see. Oh, this wind. I gotta go backwards. Uh, we're gonna see if she's ready to go today. Oops, I forgot something. Um, I'm just gonna mention here real quick that, you know, we are at this uh, RV storage place and uh, campground. Uh, and they have a repair center too. Uh, and they have, uh, you know, water and a dump station and propane. I was gonna go ahead and, and fill the water tank up. And uh, I doubt that there's anything in the tanks. And uh, maybe check the propane and, and get that filled up. But you know what, I'm just gonna wait on that stuff. All that stuff can wait. Uh, yeah, I think today's mission is solely going to be to get it back. I'm not going to worry about any systems, anything at this time. Get her back home. And uh, all that stuff is uh, local enough back there to take care of. So, I mean, I don't even know. You know, when I was out here, it was uh, freezing. And, uh, yeah, the weekend I was out here, it was uh, some pretty brutal couple really cold overnights in the teens. And I was going to mess around putting water in the system and checking for leaks. Uh, so that's a plot. I might have some plumbing work to do or I may not, you know, hopefully this has been uh, winterized properly uh, You know in recent years and we're all at life <laughs> in Winterized in the winter time and I uh, will be okay in the plumbing department that uh, that's not a deal breaker not a problem I'm I'm a good do-it-yourselfer We'll worry about those things and I you know need to check the propane system and uh, and so on and so on so I'll, I'll deal with that all. We're just going to get her home today. She just needs to run. <laughs> oh. All right. Bella's up here. She says, I'll be able to see again where we're going. <laughs> and I think Daniel's just waiting on me. He's waving. Hi. <laughs> all right. I guess everybody's waiting on me at this point. I don't know about this thing. Hey, as long as my coffee cup fits in there, we're good. I got the plug-in thing for the uh, uh, for the power port down here. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Hopefully, we're reading some good voltage down here. Let's see what she's gonna say. Uh oh. What's that say? Eleven. There, tw oh, twelve volts. That's a little bit low. Uh, but it should start. Oh yeah, so it's carbureted. Uh, so you know, on cold mornings, you know, you gotta pump the pump it a few times, and I don't even know if the choke is set right on this thing because uh, the way it acted before. Uh, we'll, we'll see. She just wants to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> that should be enough. Oh, let's see. A couple more times. Oh, watch it not start. No worries. Nobody panic.
okay. Yeah, she'll be okay. It's a race. It's a race. I don't know. Look how small it is. It has a big block. Right, but they'll probably, like, it should move pretty well. It should. It should go good. In theory, power to weight ratio. Yeah. <laughs> a lot higher than the binder. Yeah. All right, gonna close up some doors here, and uh, we're gonna get on our way to the gas station, and get on the highway. All right. <laughs> we're on our way, and I forgot to uh, put the blinds up. Uh, I'll probably get rid of the blinds; they're super annoying. Uh, usually, put them up the whole way, then they don't rattle and swing and all that. Uh, they'll eventually uh, be done away with. But at the gas station, I'm gonna. I'll stop and remember to put them up for now. <laughs> this is such a different feel than the bounder. Oh, we met a subscriber uh, back here. We stored his uh, holiday rambler right by it. And we sat and uh, chatted with him for a little bit and kind of compared notes on camping styles and you know, how we uh, power things different ways and stuff. And it was interesting to get some insight you know, on his methods. I forget his name now. Shame on me. Hi. This thing is just so weird to drive. Uh, I'm sure I will get used to it. Um, with the shorter wheelbase, it just, you know, the, the, just the turning, it just seems more jerky. Um, a longer wheel, a, a longer wheelbase, it's just like, it's more steady. Uh, it's just, uh, the, the geometry is just different. Uh, it just seems more, this is, it seems jerky, but it's really just more sensitive. I don't know how else to put that. Um, <laughs> it's just weird. <laughs> and going over dips, it's like the axle's so much closer. It was just that it just has a different feel. It's weird. You settle down. I gotta get gas. <laughs> ah, no, no, no. I'm not going to even get you a candy bar. Nope. <laughs> you settle down. I'm just going to get some gas. Okay, that was weird. I opened the door and I was waiting for the automatic steps to come out. <laughs> and they didn't. So, we, no, we don't have automatic steps anymore. And it, that, that's okay. The other thing was the bounder. The gas was all the way on the back. You know, 34 feet back. So, I had to pull the bounder pull the bounder way 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 up here um, beyond the pumps and I just thought I had but I pulled way up and realized the, the gas thing is right here just outside of my door um, I, oh yeah I have a door now well we've made it this far we're doing okay let me get some gas here <laughs> there's come on Mr. Gas Machine <laughs> There's another good sign. Gas is actually down to 409 a gallon here. Let's hope that's a trend. The gas prices will finally start coming back down. Get a little, little easier to run these big things. <laughs> yeah, I have to get used to using this door over here. The bounder didn't have this door. Uh, bella, bella, bella. Come here. Come here. Come here, girl. Hi, oh, girl. I love you too. I love you too. All right, now I don't know how much gas I should put in it. I'm not gonna fill it up. Um, I don't know. We got about 80, so we got 80 some miles to go. We'll put in like 15 to 20 gallons and we'll be good. I don't wanna fill it up just yet. Um, you never know, it's gonna be sitting down there. You know, I'm just gonna, uh, you never know. It could get siphoned or something. <laughs> I'll, uh, we'll just put enough in for now and I'll just worry about that later. I'll fill it up when we, I wanted to fill it up and then travel and fill it up again just to get an initial uh, estimate on what the gas mileage might be roughly, but I I'm just gonna wait and do that at a later time too. One thing at a time. We have to pull over a minute. Something funny is going on. 
<laughs> Just a minute. What's happening is there's there's this engine cover. There's there's a latch on each side, but here near the back on each side there's supposed to be a bolt that holds the back down, and they're, and they're they're not in. So I'm going down the road um, fast enough. The the wind from underneath is, it keeps pushing this engine cover up. So you know there was engine work done and, and stuff, a tune up and oil changes, all that kind of stuff. But the mechanics didn't bother putting bolts in there. Maybe they were already missing, and they thought, oh, no big deal, the latches are good enough. Uh, but they're not good enough going down a highway, so I'm gonna have to put uh, two bolts in there. Not a big deal, but uh, I'm just gonna put, I do have that one power thing uh, with me. I'm just gonna put something heavy on there, because I don't have bolts here with me. Uh, but we'll take care of that. Small issue. That's it, for now I just put this big power uh, yeah, it's got two handles on it for a reason. It's it's heavy. It weighs enough. It'll keep it down. So we we can be back on our way again. We we can be back on our way. You know there will be a lot of little things. That, I know this is coming. Um, I've already seen it a couple of videos back. There'll be uh, uh, it'll be coming. Somebody will say, uh, you know, you should have hired a uh, an inspector, an RV should get. Yeah, an RV inspector to look at a rig before you buy an RV. And uh, the answer to that's no. That's uh, I'm the RV inspector. Okay, I can ex inspect my own RVs. I knew that you know that I wanted basics, reasonable mileage, reasonable condition, uh, a good uh, good survivor that's salvageable. Um, little a lot of little things can tend to be left go over time. And uh, and, and that's why these things get to be so like overwhelming. Somebody says, oh, it needs all this work. Um, you know, it begins any RV. You know, you need to stay ahead of things. When you start letting little things pile up, like a windshield wiper blade that needs attention, a uh, little this, little that, and then if you let a couple big things go, it just becomes like it's going to take so much to fix this thing. The name of the game is stay ahead of it, stay on top of things, keep up with it. Don't let things start to accumulate. This is big, you know. Um, so we're going to get all these little little details caught up. You know, and some other repairs and stuff made, but we'll, we'll whip this thing back in shape. We will. Yeah, I'm the RV inspector. It passed the basics that I needed it to. Well, I'm good with that. We are a little bit halfway back. Uh, she's, all in all, she's doing pretty good. Uh, it's not the best day to be driving something like this. A, a, a storm system is moving in and uh, coming across the summit. I think it's Cre Crescent. Summit coming across the Appalachian Mountains. We hit some hot, high winds. Things have settled down a little bit. We're still, we still got some winds going on, but we hit some winds that she was a handful. <laughs> uh, and Betty would have been too. I, I just, I try to avoid driving on windy days, but uh, hey, sometimes it just happens. Uh, you know, just it's a reminder too of the, you know, I have a checklist of things that. Uh, you know, it really has to pass by inspection uh, on a lot of points before I would drive it across the country. I'll give it the same procedures and, and going through that I did, uh, you know, Betty and uh, the previous Tioga. Uh, so she's going to get a good going through, uh, but the high winds, the way they you can get thrown around a bit, uh, just reminded me to add something to that list to make sure I check is the, uh, uh, the stabilizer link bushings. What most people call them uh, sway bar, the uh, sway bar bushings. Uh, so um, I'll make sure to uh, make sure they're okay, but I mean considering it is pretty, pretty, it's pretty dang windy, it's probably to be expected. <laughs> Might get an upgrade or something at some point. I don't know, we'll, we'll get it all taken care of. We're gonna get her back home. Looks like she's, uh, I think she's up for the job. She's doing good. How are you doing over there? Everything okay? Huh? Everything okay over there? Oh yeah. We're good. Alright, we are most of the way back. Oh, we, we just don't have a whole lot further to go. Bella is doing good. She's kind of settled in. Looking for some cows. Got horses. Now that we're out of those high winds, this is uh, 
uh, it's actually starting to be a pretty nice drive. It, it, it does drive nice and smooth and no weird vibrations. There's a weird rattle back there. Um, it's the stove pop. It's pretty typical in these things. I might have to tweak it a little bit. But uh, geez, I'm, I'm pretty pleased. I'm pleased. Go down the road nice. We made it. That was just long enough of a drive that, you know, it went well. The last part was, uh, last half was uh, pretty eventless, no problems. Um, Bella wants out, she sees Daniel. Uh, you know, really developed a feel for the rig. Got adjusted to it pretty quickly. It's a, uh, um, I, I like it. I'm, I like it. It's, it's gonna be a lot of work. I know it. Knew that getting into it. It's, I enjoy fixing up old stuff. You know, we'll whip this thing back into shape. It's all good. It went well. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Bella, is this, is is Dan? Is Daniel? Out there? Daniel's gonna go over and look at that old boat. <laughs> okay. There she goes. All right. I'm I'm glad she's mine. I'll be gonna get the water in the tank and you know get water running water going and get the chip propane system checked out and. You know, cook something and, you know, start making it feel like home. And I'm going to have a look at this refrigerator, see if it uh, truly is done for. It might not be. We'll find out. So, I'm good. I'm happy with it. All right, so there she sits. And that, that's it. We might come back down later today. And it'll probably be start another video or something. Come down and come down and take some measurements for a few things for the... Uh, curtains somebody uh, offered to make me those curtains that go around on that track you know these were missing for whatever reason maybe somebody took them out to wash them one time and never put them back or hard telling hard telling and uh, measure I might go ahead and use that dinette and measure up for dinette cushions uh, they are some different come in some different sizes so or that might get changed to a couch I think I talked about that before but for right now uh, she's, uh, we're gonna, this is going to be her home for the time being. So she's home. So yay, we did it. <laughs> Bella says, not this again. So, yes, we have to take Daniel back home. All right. He, he helped us out today. We're, we're good now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're taking Daniel back home, and then we're going back out to the bounder and go from there. Thanks for coming along today. I'll see you in the next video. There goes Daniel. There he goes. Are you happy to have your seat back? <laughs> Are you happy to have your seat back? Is it all good now? <laughs>